Hey everybody, it's Paul from Screen Iron Scribe. Today we're going to talk and look at some differences between Final Draft 12 and Final Draft 13. We're going to supposed to specifically look in this video at midnight and see if there's a difference between the midnight mode and night mode between 12 and 13. We'll also take a look at typewriter mode to see if it's really beneficial. And then we'll also will take a look at emojis and see how easy it is to put in in 12 versus 13, which is 13, is which is where one of the big things that they said was great about this one was emojis. So we'll take a look into all those three things today. So the first thing we're going to do today is take a look at the difference between night mode on Final Draft 12, which is which I have pulled up here on our left side of the screen, and midnight mode, which is on the right side of the screen for Final Draft 13. So you can sort of see here is 12 and here is 13. You can definitely see there's a difference between the two. I can also change the mode. Let's go to night mode and see how much it, it looks very similar to what we've had in the past. Uh, but if we go to midnight mode, you can definitely tell the screen is a lot darker. It's a lot easier to see the uh, font and stuff like that. So, so that is the difference between midnight mode on Final Draft 13 as well as Final Draft 12, the darkness mode. So you can see how much more dark it is on 13. Okay, the next thing we're going to look at is how easy it is to add emojis. We're going to take a look at Final Draft 12 first to see how to do that. Uh, so what I've done is saying basically Kelly is typing on her phone. We go to Kelly, and I'm going to put in brackets. It's pretty easy. We just go down to text. Boom. There we go. I, and then so what we need to do in order for in Final Draft 12 to add an emoji. All right, so I write text. I go down to the next, and I say I, and then I go down to edit. I add emojis slash symbol. I select heart emoji and nothing happens uh, and I can take a look at this and and so I don't know why I decided not to add um, uh, this what I could also do is I could say I could add um, an image from my desktop okay. In there. <clears throat> I can make that a lot smaller or a lot bigger There we go. So, so that's one way I could have done uh, emojis in Final Draft 12. Let's take a look and see how much, if it's easier to do on Final Draft 13. Um, so basically I'm in Final Draft 13 here. I go up to edit, we go emojis. I add, and you can see it's a lot easier to add the emojis. For whatever reason, in 12, I have a hard time adding the emoji in 13. It's not too bad. I think the, the interesting thing too is I could always just add an image of the emoji as well too and just have to resize it. It doesn't take that long to do, um, but uh, the emoji function in Final Draft 13 is easier than it is in Final Draft 12. All right, the next thing we're gonna do is we're actually gonna enter in full screen mode and we're going to try the typewriter function. So to do this, let's go to view. We simply scroll down to typewriter, view, hit typewriter, hit enable, okay. And so then right now we can start typing and we'll see how the, that different differentiates when we go back to 12. Absolutely. All right, so there's a little bit. It was really easy. The text was all right there. It wasn't moving, moving around. So let's take a look on what that would look like uh, in version on the uh, Final Draft 12 version. Okay, so then we take a look between the two here. Uh, you can see that for the most part, the typewriter part kept the text sort of at eye level as opposed to in the Final Draft 12. It didn't really keep it at eye level. It had it go down the screen a little bit more. Um, does that make a big difference? For my particular writing style, no. Uh, I don't think it makes a great difference, but this is one of the things that they were saying was a big change between uh, Final Draft 13 and Final Draft 12. Well, so we took a look at, at these three things. Uh, what do you think? Were these things uh, worth the $100 upgrade uh, to go from Final Draft 12 to 13? I know there's a couple more things we'll go over, but what do you think about these first initial things? Do you like midnight mode? Does that look a lot better to write in than in just dark mode? Uh, is it easier to use a lot of emojis in your screenplays? Uh, what about typewriter mode? Is that something that you're looking forward to? Well, until the next video, live well and write well.